As of March 24th of 2024, there are currently 47 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these 47, the strangest of the group, can be found within Tanzania via the towering Old Yenyolingai volcano. Unlike every other volcano which erupts lava that has a majority by weight silicon dioxide, Old Yenyolingai's lavas only have 3% silicon dioxide with a majority composition of carbonate minerals. Also enriched in alkali elements and rare earth elements, these natural carbonatite lavas quickly change from a dark black color to white within 100 hours of being erupted. With this being said, here are this week's top volcano related news stories. In Japan, the infamous Iwo Jima Island produced a brand new volcanic eruption, sending steaming lava floating to the surface adjacent to its recently constructed Nijima Island. Moving to Japan's island of Hokkaido, the Hokkaido Kumagatake volcano, which has not erupted in 24 years, produced an unexpected volcanic tremor alongside a change in its slope, suggesting a potential minor expansion of the volcano. And in what is this week's top story, Nicaragua's Parque Nacional Volcan Masaya, which surrounds and includes much of the Masaya volcano, was closed off due to an increased likelihood of a large volcanic explosion soon occurring. The Masaya volcano is located within close proximity to more than a million people, even being 16 kilometers south-southeast of Nicaragua's capital city, Managua. Masaya has been near continuously erupting during the last 500 years, generally involving intermittent ejections of ash from one of three craters alongside the presence of a long-term lava lake. Since 2012, this lava lake measured up to 200 meters or 656 feet wide and was located deep within Santiago Crater, where basaltic molten rock would pool. However, this lava lake is allegedly no more, having been completely covered by several landslides within this crater on March 13th. This is potentially a major problem. Persistent gas emissions seen before this landslide have seemingly also ceased, and yet scientific instrumentation suggests that molten rock is still pulling underneath the landslide debris. There is now a legitimate fear and likelihood that the landslide debris represents a cap rock and that gas is building up underneath it. Eventually, this gas could build up to such a volume that it breaks overlying rock, shooting upwards in a sudden release of pressure which generates an unusually powerful explosive eruption. While this is unlikely to be even close to the higher magnitude of Messiah's caldera forming eruptions, it could still be quite destructive if and when this event occurs. A nearly identical series of events took place in 2012, resulting in a series of volcanian explosions which sent blocks of volcanic rock up to 3 kilometers away, landing on cars and buildings. Due to a suspicion that a similar process will soon occur, the National Park Masaya is in is currently closed off. Meanwhile, in Japan, a new volcanic eruption occurred at the infamous Iwo Jima volcano at the exact same location that was previously the site of the world's newest volcanic island. This island, known as Nijima, formed on October 30th of last year and expanded to 9 acres in size via the eruption of tracheanocyte lava and ash. However, after this eruption ended a month later, the island quickly eroded away and recently disappeared below sea level. Well, due to the high rate of ground deformation totaling 1 meter a year, which Iwo Jima is currently experiencing, this vent has erupted three times in the last three years. A fourth eruption began from the same vent just below sea level on March 16th, erupting numerous fragments of vesicle-rich lava. Many of these holes and the erupted lava quickly filled with water, which then flashed to steam and expanded, causing the lava to float upwards. These fragments then remained on the surface, forming what is known as a lava balloon. While this activity could eventually reform the prior island, it is unclear how long its newest eruption will last for. On the southern portion of Japan's Hokkaido Island, there was temporarily a slight level of volcanic unrest which struck the Hokkaido Komogatake volcano. This occurred on March 23rd, where at 2.33 a.m. a volcanic tremor struck underneath its summit, which lasted for 100 seconds. The tremor happened alongside a variation in inclinometer readings, suggesting a sudden slight expansion of the volcano. While what occurred could have been a one-off event, my interpretation is that an amount of hydrothermal fluids underlying these craters were suddenly heated, causing material to expand and rise slightly. 
I believe that this would account for the sensor readings that were measured, which is why Hokkaido Komagataki's alert level is remaining at green. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on March 23rd of 2024. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Brad Snyder for supporting this channel.